Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ward Lanaga, and you're watching Ward Slaves and Waves. So I'm so excited for this episode because I'll be sharing to you some of the things that I discovered in 2023. At least those things which I can afford to share. Not the very too personal stuff, but let's see in the coming months, maybe next year, if I can muster the confidence to share them. So yes, in less than three hours, we'll be welcoming 2024. So thank you very much, everyone, for the love and support, especially those who have contributed so much to how I've been doing this year, 2023. Thank you for those who taught me a lot of things and was with me as I heard all the challenges. I heard all the challenges and, you know, tasted and savored the victories and the milestones. So thank you, thank you very much. Hopefully 2024 will be a wonderful year for each person in the world. That's definitely my prayer. Okay, so one of the things that I'm really uh, happy about is the reunion concert of Shari Ganeta and Gabi Deception, at least in my opinion. The Sharon Gabi love team is one of the most felt, if not the most felt love team in the history of Philippine cinema. And to be able to see them on one concert stage is definitely a bliss, especially in the point of view of those who are really hardcore, you know, solid fans of the Sharon Gabi love team. And I'm one of those. And that particular reunion was even made more special because they also staged the concert for their fans in Cebu. It was uh it was uh, held at the New Star Convention Center, which uh which uh how do you call this? Considered uh the Sharanabi concert to be the very first uh celebrity concert that was held in that particular venue. Unfortunately, for more reasons than one, and I'm not just going to tell you the reasons I was not able to go there, but I'm so happy with the success of the concert and happy for those who were able to really see it live. Thank you very much. Well, I had to, you know, uh, just uh, enjoy watching the YouTube videos, but I was still very, very much happy. So thank you very much, Sharon Kinnata and Gabi Gosekshan. And to all the people behind the production for really making, making us all happy. Thank you very much. And speaking of Sharon Kinnata projects, another thing that I will consider as a gift that I received for the year 2023 is the 2023 Metro Manila Film Festival entry of Sharon Kinnata and Alden Richards under the cynical productions, and that is A Family of Two, A Mother of Son Story. So it was already showing December 25. I still have time before going back to school, so I'll have to go to Cebu and watch it in my favorite theater. So hopefully I'll have time tomorrow, or maybe January 2, uh, to watch the movie. You know, hopefully. And um, looking, I'm looking forward, you know, as well as the rest of the Sharanians of this world, looking forward for more movie projects and most probably a music album, you know, and their Sharanada's theme. So, to Sharanada, congratulations. Uh, your uh, solid fans will always be happy and proud of you, no matter what happens. We're just here supporting you in all your endeavors. Because in return, you made us really happy. So thank you very much. And there are also some products that um, I discovered for this year. So for example, if you hear the company name Johnson & Johnson's, what you would immediately associate, or the very first uh, product that you would associate with, associated with is their iconic baby powder and now it's already in eau de parfum form what i mean is the scent of this eau de parfum is inspired by the fragrance of their baby powder 
So if you're a fan of, you know, baby powder scent, then this Oli Park fan is perfect for you. This one is inspired by the original uh, baby powder, and this one is, is inspired by their bedtime baby powder. Got this from, um, what this from a fashion house near our area. So hopefully you would be, you would have a chance also to buy these items and enjoy the scent. This is officially my, you know, welcoming the new year 2024 fragrance. <laughs> okay, before I forget, you know, by okay, my pulse points, this is the only part of mine. It's concentrated like all the total. Okay, nice. Another thing is, um, I'm not just going to divulge the details, but I'm not really a fan of using uh, antiperspirant and anti deodorant. Uh, products. So what I did was I tried using uh, antifungal and antibacterial ointment. And it worked. It protected me for 24 hours or even beyond that. So uh, my ointment of choice for this particular purpose is Katyalis. It has one, two, three, four. It has five active ingredients and it has antifungal and antibacterial properties. And that is the reason why uh, it won't let me down. What I need mean is, uh, you know, that, that bacteria that uh, that's being harbored in my armpit because of the uh, sweat, or because of the sweating, will not really create that water because in the first place, they will not grow because, again, uh, this is antibacterial. Okay. So I don't know if it works for you guys, but you can actually try especially if you're allergic to some products or if your skin is too sensitive to handle the chemicals in, uh, you know, in, you know, some of the antiperspirant or anti deodorant products in the market. So Katyalis and other ointments like Abetet, Abetet is also very good. Um, so for my, for my underarm, I use Katyalis ointments because I don't experience the allergic reactions that I actually suffer if I use, uh, you know, some products that I've been using before. Okay. And um, food spray, I, I stopped using food sprays because I discovered this uh, HE Mint product, it has turmeric oil and menthol. They actually moisturize my skin. Uh, at the same time, they actually will show the production of, you know, bad smell, bad food smell. And also, um, they prevent, um, how do you call it, athlete's foods. Athlete's food, athlete's foods are really cost by a particular, um, for the species of fungus. So, it actually, you know, stops production. So, um, I really love this one. So instead of using food spray or um, food powder, I make sure to apply or massage this in my um, my feet before uh, wearing the socks. And of course, before wearing the shoes. And you will discover at the end of the day, when you reach the house, you'll discover that your feet are really moisturized and it doesn't smell bad at all. Even if you have been active for, you know, for the whole day. Another one is that the very effective nasal root congestion. And if I run out of the HP mint rub or the, uh, the one with turmeric oil and menthol, this will also do moisturizes the feet and it controls the production of pathogens that will cause athlete's food and you know food water. So that's what I actually discovered. And thank you very much to uh the um, the people behind the purple cake, I tasted the ruby cake for the first time when you launched your branch into other city. And I really enjoyed it because it's very moist, it's spongy, it's moist, and it's frosting. It's really very creamy and milky and purple yam based. And you can actually taste where you can actually um, really feel the purple yam shavings in you know, incorporated in the frosting or the icing. So congratulations, this purple yam cake. That is also one of the reasons why 2023 is very special because for the first time, I was able to really see where the goodness 
and the tactics of the purple king. The reactions. Okay, so that's it for uh this episode. I can't wait to join my family and friends. Uh to you know to enjoy the food items or the dishes or the media notion to involve. So thank you very much for watching. Happy New Year and I'll see you soon. Bye.